My name is DeQuinn Evans. I'm 34 years old. I'm a husband, father, mentor, and I'm the executive director of the Gridiron Foundation. I grew up in Compton, California in a heavily gang-affiliated culture. I made many hasty decisions, which led to me dropping out of school in the sixth grade. I was incarcerated five times from the ages of 12 to 18 years old, and I spent a year on the streets homeless. I was sentenced to a year at a juvenile detention center called Camp Kilpatrick, where they shot the movie The Gridiron Gang, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And my caseload officer at the time contacted The Rock Johnson in the middle of a shoot, and she let him know that there's a young black and Samoan boy who's locked up. And he stopped the shoot, he came in and introduced himself to me, and he told me four words that I'll never forget. He said, I believe in you. And he shook my hand and gave me a hug. I'm like DeQuinn Evans. I'm from Compton, California. I'm in here for several charges, a couple of them violations. I stole the car, hit and run, tried to get away from the police, felling drug tests, a lot of pity stuff add up to a lot. I was at one of the lowest points of my life. And for a man with that type of influence to come in and make time for me out of his busy schedule meant a lot to me. And what he did for me is he planted a seed in my heart. And it was a seed of hope that grew into a vision. Camp Kilpatrick was very unique because it was different from every other juvenile detention center. It was the only one in California that gave young men an opportunity to play sports. Playing football right now. My goal is to get off probation, play football for a junior college, hopefully get a scholarship to a four year university. I chose to play tackle football because I was big in nature and I was dealing with a lot of pain, aggression, and frustration, and it gave me a healthy environment to let that out in. Every Friday, I attended a leadership development class ran by a man named Gene Massey. This is where I learned about the importance of education, developing a vision, life skills, self-esteem, and goal setting. But the most critical aspect of Gene's mentorship program was the relationship I built with Gene. I knew without a doubt every Friday Gene was gonna be there. Studies show that the number one thing young people need is a consistent and positive relationship with an adult, and that's what Gene blessed me with. My cousin Herschel Dennis was a starting running back at the University of Southern California, and he grew up in an environment similar to mine, and he made it out. And he took me under his wing, and he exposed me to classes, and he allowed me to go and visit the locker room, and he allowed me to go and eat with him and his friends um, during lunchtime. But what it did for me is it opened my eyes. And instead of having a narrow vision, it broadened my horizon because I said, if these guys can do it, and if my cousin can do it, then I know I can too. After spending that time with my cousin, it encouraged me to go and pursue my own dreams and my own goals. My goal is to hurry up and graduate, and I'm trying to get myself to a junior college because I missed out on my last year, my senior year of playing high school football. That's basically it. I'm the max I'm gonna be there is for two years because I'm trying to get a scholarship out to whatever university ex accepts me. Our major goal is to make it in football and play in the National Football League. From there, I had to find out the bus route to get from my mom's house to Los Angeles Harbor Junior College. I had to get in contact with tutors. I had to fill out my financial aid and do the practicality work um, in order to achieve my dreams. The bus ride was two hours there, two hours home. The tutor sessions were rigorous, three hours a day before regular school. Playing football for the first time on the outside, dealing with Division I competition that just didn't have grades was arduous. But with grit, tenacity, and strength, I was able to overcome all those things. I graduated from Harbor College with a 3.6 GPA with the help of my mentors, my coaches, 
and accountability from Gene Massey. From there, I was on a path to achieve my goals. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to school just to stay eligible to play sports. I wanted to pursue my education to acquire knowledge because I believe if you have knowledge, it opens up opportunities for you. Sports can be gone, but knowledge stays with you forever. So I ended up earning a full ride scholarship to the University of Kentucky. I played there two years. Um, from there, I was an undrafted free agent. I got an opportunity to play in the NFL with the Cincinnati Bengals for three years. And then I played in the Canadian Football League for four years. And I retired from sports in 2018. With so much talent in front of him, second year defensive end DeQuinn Evans is a long shot to make the team. But he's beaten long odds before. The neighborhood I grew up in had me making some hasty decisions in my life at an early age. A lot of guys, well, they've been playing football since they've been eight, nine years old. And um, my first year playing football, I was 20. Evans knows all about the hard knock life, having come out of South Central LA and juvenile detention facilities. Football has played a huge role in my life and I don't know where I'd be without it because I don't think I would even have went to school if it wasn't for football. I never thought in a million years, you know, a kid from Compton was gonna go to the NFL. He has some of the best hands when it comes to violence in his pass rush. Man, his hands, I tell him he got, he's from the West Coast. I say, you got the best hands from the West Coast. I try to steal a little bit of his moves because his hands are second to none. TQ, I love TQ. This is not hard. That's it, TQ. Hard is, uh, you know, when your mom is uh, trying to feed a family of four and you guys don't have no father in your home, and, and she's on welfare, and uh, that, that's hard. This is just something that you have to stay focused on. When I'm out there running around, and I don't have no gas in the tank, and I feel nauseous, and I think about my mom, and I think about my baby sisters. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I'm taking care of my family. I just gotta dig deep and know that it's bigger than me. After I retired from sports, I knew that education had to be one of the pinnacles of my life. So I went back to school and I finished up my degree in leadership development. After finishing my degree, I was still helping out young people in my environment. I would go from schools in Tacoma all the way out to Sumner and offering mentorship and basically just building relationships with young people. Um, from there, I started the Gridiron Foundation. And we started with just one kid right here in Tacoma. And now we're able to serve over 100 kids at our facility. We're now on the brink of quadrupling our space, opening a new facility, and building a 50-student classroom with provided facilitators, educators, and mentors to help young people navigate life, increase high school graduation rate, and decrease recidivism. At the Gridiron Foundation, we use mentorship as a vehicle to deliver life skills to young people and help create pillars of strength in our homes, communities, and schools.